All right, so we're back. XBMC interface on Apple TV too. Um, the dog is chewing on a bone in the background, so you may hear that from time to time. Sorry. If you want to go, uh, the default interface for the Apple TV too. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna tolerate that noise in the background. You're not, you're not chewing on your bone right now. Sorry. The default interface is really slick. It works really well with the default Apple TV 2 remote. Um, but I prefer the Experience skin. It's a lot more slick looking. It looks a lot more polished for your light use uh, users like me. I, I primarily use the XBMC for watching my movies. Um, I don't get into a lot of the add ons that are available for XBMC because. Uh, I don't have a keyboard and mouse or anything set up for it. I don't have a really full featured remote um, that plays nice with XBMC on the Apple TV too. So enough talk. Uh, we'll go into system. And here's your appearances. Here's where you can pick your skin. You see at the bottom you've got an option to get more. Sometimes you have to fiddle with the directions on the controller a bit. To get down, I actually hit left, uh, right, and down, uh, and up don't do anything, but left will take you down to get more. So let's get more skins. It'll take you to the built-in skin browser and um, experience is the one that I prefer. So click on experience, click on install and wait. You'll get a progress percentage right there next to the skin name. You can queue up multiple skins and here's the experience skin. Highlight it and it'll automatically enable. Takes a couple seconds to refresh and there's the experience skin. So that is really all there is to it. Some of the controls take a little bit of getting used to the menu button on the default Apple controller is going to take you back. Hitting the center of the directional is going to select. And actually using the skin, if I wanted to watch some movies, you're going to have to add your network path or your local device path to access those videos. So as you can see here, there's nothing. If I hit... Um, left on the direction pad it'll highlight that options that you see in the bottom left there and we can add a files we can add a file path or a source you want to click add source and you can browse your network <clears throat> I have a Windows home server so I would select a Windows network SMB and then it'll bring up your uh, domains or work groups that are on the network and Walker is my home network and then I have uh, W server that's where all my media is at click on that and you'll have to add in your username and password that is a pain in the butt using just a remote but once you get that in uh, it'll show any folders you have shared on the network for my home server I've got movies television shows pictures music, uh, 